Underrated rivalry renewed Saturday in Minneapolis, Nebraska, Minnesota. P.J. Fleck and the Gophers, they've won two in a row in three of the last four as the Big Red looks for its first win in the Twin Cities in six years. Here now the seven things to watch for when the Huskers take on the Golden Gophers. And they're one of the best offenses in the country, let alone the Big Ten. High praise coming from the head coach of the Gophers, whose team coming off a bye week. Fleck gushed about the versatility and effectiveness of Nebraska's offense. Got a lot of respect for what they do and how they do it uh, on the field. Last couple years, they've really packed the box and made it really tough on us to, to run it. Minnesota gives up just 77 rushing yards per game. Second in the Big Ten, fifth in the country. Uh, we got to do a good job coming off the ball and creating things and trying to get things on their secondary. Bryce Benhart back in the starting lineup for the Huskers at right tackle, but he's not the only native Minnesotan on the team. Levi Falk hails from the land of 10,000 lakes and was passed over by the Gophers. I don't like Minnesota. I don't like Minnesota at all. Minnesota with four sacks in each of their last three games, and they hope to put some pressure on Adrian Martinez. They're physical. Um, nothing that's necessarily new in the Big Ten, but I know they're going to be ready to play. They always have been, and they've gotten our number the last couple years. At running back, the Gophers will go with a third stringer to start Saturday's game. Marquise Irving is the next up off the bench. Irving, a true freshman with 112 yards on just 25 carries this year. Quarterback Tanner Morgan's beaten Nebraska twice in his career, and we all remember what happened two years ago in the hoodie game in Minneapolis. Gophers pushed around Nebraska, rushing for 322 yards. We, we didn't stop that in the past two years, so, I mean, yeah, you can say we're lacking physicality if we can't stop the downhill run. We have one game until a bye week, so I know the team knows that, and we're going to push through. And that bye week will be much more enjoyable at 4-4. Four and four then three and five. Minnesota is the biggest game on our schedule right now and that's, that's this week and that's the task at hand and we're going to like our odds up in Minnesota this weekend. All right, coverage starts 8.30 Saturday morning with Big Red Zone Game Day on KETV. Then join Sean Callahan and me for Facebook Live at 9. We'll get you ready for the Huskers and Gophers 11 a.m. on ESPN2.